Good morning, boys and girls. Hi. This is going to be your math lesson for Monday morning. And today we are going to be using a hundreds chart. Now, you guys have already downloaded a hundreds chart from the day that we did the math riddles. And if you still have it, hopefully you haven't colored on it or written on it, and then you can reuse it, and that would be great. If you need to get another one, you can re-download it from the same spot. It should still be available on the old plans. Or you can contact me. I'll resend one to you. Or you can simple uh, Google uh, free, definitely do free because you don't want to pay for it, free hundreds chart download or free hundreds chart printable. And you'll come up with quite a few that you don't have to pay for that you can print right out. But hopefully you have the one that we were already working with and that won't be a problem for you. Now, today we're playing hide it on the hundreds chart. And this game is to help number recognition and to help number sense and just to have a good feel for those bigger numbers and where they are and how they relate to the other numbers around them. So you guys are good with big numbers, but this is going to help you practice and it's also going to be a challenge for you and for your family members too, because hopefully you get a chance to play with them. If you don't get a chance to play with them, I'm going to show you how to do it by yourself. So you're going to want to have a little cup or something to shake your counters out of. And I'm going to show you my counters. Whatever counters you use, it's fine, just as long as they're small enough for the hundreds chart. I have 10. Um, I am going to, they're right here, my little chicks. I'm going to start the game with five. So let's put five into the cup. One, two, three, four, five. But as you get better at playing this game, I want you to work your way up to using uh, 10 counters and then try to do it that way. So what you're going to do, right now I'm playing with Lily, so this is the partner version of Hide on the Hundreds chart. So I'm gonna angle the camera down so you guys can come look at my Hundreds chart, and I'm gonna give them a shake, and I'm gonna spill them out. Now when I spill them out, this one went flying a little, so I'm just gonna pick a spot. Lily's not gonna look, she's gonna uh, look the other way for a minute, and I'm just gonna put them covering the number the number closest to where they landed. And then Lily, you can look now, it's her job to try to guess all of the numbers that I'm hiding from her. Okay, so this first one is 7. Okay. And then this one is going to be 36. 36, and she knows because it came after 35. This one is 55. Right. This one is... 57. Okay. Then this one is 69. Good job. And she got the clues for knowing where what numbers they were by looking at what numbers were close to them and where she was on the hundreds chart. So obviously when she was in the row with 50s, she knows the row with 50s all start with 5. So she wouldn't say that's 60 or 40. She knows it has to be a 50 something number. And she guessed all of her guesses correctly and then if we kept playing it would then be her turn to shake out the counters she would probably pick more at that point and she would shake out the counters and hide them for her partner now if you don't have a partner to play with this is my box where I have all my counters inside so in that case you would just take your cup like so or you can use your hand and I'm not looking so I'll use my hand in this case actually but cup is fine oh, no. god bless you sorry thank you so I'm gonna take I'm so my sorry. I'm gonna take my hand and I'm gonna take a scoop but I'm not gonna look and let's see how many did I get I got one two one two I'm oh, sorry bless you three oh. Oh, four my gosh. bless you I'm sorry about five, that thank you six seven, eight. So I have eight counters. And then what I'm going to do, since that's what I grabbed out of the box, that's how many I'm going to use for this round. And then without looking, my eyes are closed, even though you can't see oh me. Gosh. I'm going to keep my eyes closed and shake them out. And then I'm not going to look. I'm just going to carefully move them. And I'm just, I'm not going to look if you want to see me. I'm not going to look while I'm doing this. I'm just sliding them onto the board. And then I know I'm done. And if it doesn't look like I covered the numbers just right because I wasn't looking, I'll fix it. Oh my gosh. Excuse and then me. I make my guesses. It's easiest to play with a partner, but it's uh, perfectly, uh, 
you're perfectly able to play this game on your own. And after you've done hide it on the hundreds chart a few times, give your, yourself about two turns, give your partner about two turns. Then I have a cute coloring page for you guys, and I'll show it to you. That is also, it's a hundreds chart, but it's a hundreds chart mystery picture. So let me find it for you guys really quick. It's right here. Now, you're going to need two worksheets to do the hundreds chart mystery picture. Oh, bless you, Lily. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Thank you. I'm not trying to sneeze. It's okay, Lily. So these are the two sheets you're going to need for the hundreds chart mystery picture. And this is after you play the game, hide it on the hundreds chart. So it says mystery picture number five. This is the one I chose to give you guys. If you really like doing these and you want to do more, I have more. Just ask your parents to email me. But this one is mystery picture number five, and I'll give you a hint. It's going to be a spring picture. And this is the, the color code. So they give you yellow and orange and green and pink. So if you look really close, I'm going to come in really close so you guys can see. There are sequences of numbers under each color. So I'll look at the first one. 38 blank 40. So I have to use my math detective skills and think, Lily, can you hand me the crayons? What number comes after 38 and comes before 40? Thank you, Lily. What is the number? Do you know, Lil? Wait, sorry, what? So I'm looking for the number that comes after 38 and it comes before 40. I know it. Just like... Here, yes, Lily, you can say it. Okay. It's, um, uh, oh my gosh, I can't talk. 39. 39. So hand me my pencil, please, honey. So with a pencil, I would write the answer on the line, like so. And then I know this is under yellow, so I'm going to find 39 on my hundreds chart. And I'm going to look into the section, into the col the row that has all threes. It starts with all threes. And here's my 39. It looks like it's under that I. So that's going to be the first one that I'm going to color in. And I'm going to keep solving the missing numbers on this paper so I know what color to make the numbers on my hundreds chart. And when I'm done, I'll get the mystery picture. So for this activity, I suggest you use either crayon or if you have colored pencils, use that. Because if you do make a mistake and you put the wrong color in the wrong box, crayon and colored pencil, it erases pretty easily if you have a good eraser and you can erase it and fix your mistake. So try to use crayon or color pencil instead of marker or something like that. It's just easier to fix the mistakes you make. But I think you guys will have fun. This is not a difficult activity. It's just helping you get really familiar with those big numbers, okay, that we've been working on all year long. I hope you all have a great Monday, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.